to um, refer to a story in your headlines which hasn't yet made the papers because it broke overnight. This massive riots and protests in Bucharest which have got a bit nasty, tear gas and water cannon. Uh, I think a uh, hundred people seeking, uh, needing some form of medical attention. And, and what's serious. interesting about this um, protest and links it to Britain, in Britain at the moment, the second largest national minority aren't the Irish after the Poles, they're the Romanians. Um, they have lost more of their population than any other country in the world bar Syria. Okay, between 2010 and 2015, it's desperate brain drain. It's not just Britain, there's over a million in Italy, in Spain, in France, these are educated young workers. And this protest is led by that diaspora. They've gone back in the August holidays and they are saying to the PSD, their corrupt head in the sand government, sort this out, it's not livable with. And it's actually, and of course, Romania has a history of quite violent protests. You remember 30 years ago, almost the, the, it was the only revolution where hundreds of people died. So this is a brave protest, but it's also one, it's a clarion call, if you like, a wake up call to a government that is failing its population. Currently, the, the man who's leading the, the PSD. Well, I, well, as you're just talking about yeah. seeing some of those images, the pictures came in yesterday evening. And yeah, I mean, you can see the scale of what's yeah. going on. Yeah, and, and it's scary stuff. It's really brave. Resist is the hashtag. And, and I say go for it, guys, but take care. You know, just to, to give you a clearer picture, um, there's a sort of puppet prime minister, Dan Chiller, and the man who actually leads uh, the party in power, um, Dragnia, is, is uh, prevented from being prime minister because of an investigation that's currently being carried out. Um, so it, the whole thing is just a kind of quagmire of lack of honesty, no transparency, and never power in the name of the people, never governance for the majority, but this kind of a private self-interest that Romania has never managed to get come to terms with, and it, it needs to do that for the for the sake of its young and its old. Uh, I